welcome everyone. Uh, I guess we're going to start this, and I'm going to say, and, and, and then there were four. Uh, welcome to uh, uh, Glendale. Good morning, everyone. I am mayor's, uh, the mayor, uh, Jerry Wires, for the city of Glendale, and I'm proud to host all of you as our guests this morning as we prepare for an incredible week of activities to celebrate the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship, uh, an unlikely event unlike any other in the world. Uh, we're so blessed to have this event here. Uh, Mayor Stanton is on his way. He's running just a little bit behind. Oh, actually, he just got here. Mayor Stanton? Very good, very good. Uh, now, while we're confident this, uh, this will be an, an unforgettable Final Four experience for the teams and the fans, our goal, first and foremost, is that everyone involved is safe. Our agenda includes comments from people that I've invited uh, to come here today to discuss the importance of public safety during the NCAA Final Four here in Glendale on April 1st and the 3rd and the events leading up to those games in downtown Phoenix and also in other cities in the Valley this week. I want to especially thank Don Rogers, President and CEO of the Final Four Local Organizing Committee, and we'll hear from Don shortly. Uh, after our speaker's remarks, we will open up the floor for questions, but we're going to hold all questions until the last speaker has spoke. Now, our purpose today is twofold. Uh, first of all, public safety is our top priority in Glendale, and I know it's also a top priority for cities and agencies across the valley that are represented today. Fans attending the 2017 Final Four expect a high level of cooperation and coordination among our various safety organizations and they can rest assured they're gonna get that. Today, you, you'll see uh, from the people standing around me and behind me that we have just that cooperation. And then secondly, I want to recognize uh, those very agencies who have been working together for months on this mega event. Uh, when you host an event of this magnitude, it affects public safety agencies at all levels, city, county, state, and also in federal. Uh, before we get to our speakers, I do wanna recognize uh, several officials who are here today, starting with our Glendale City Council members. Uh, they're way in the back. You'll hold your hands up when I announce you. Vice Mayor Ian Hugh, Council Member Jamie Aldama. Don't see him. Council Member Ray Melner. Very good. Council Member Lauren Tomachoff. And Council Member Bart Turner. There he goes. Okay. Uh, also, in, also in attendance are the City Manager Kevin Phelps, sir. Where are you at? Hiding. Uh, Phoenix City Manager Ed Zerker. I know you're here somewhere. Uh, also, uh, Phoenix Fire Chief uh, Kerry Brenner. Uh, FBI Field Office Jim McCabe. Uh, the Surprise Chief of Police Terry Young. Peoria Chief of Police Roy Minter. Wickenburg Chief of Police Les Brown. Uh, Deputy Fire Chief at Luke Air Force Base Kevin Conton. Uh, our assistant fire chief at Luke Kevin, Kin I'm sorry, Stephen Kincaid, uh, Tolleson Chief of Police Wayne Boer, and then uh, Sergeants Mendoza and Girl also from Tolleson. Uh, thank all of you for being here today for uh, all of your efforts in helping coordinate the regional safety elements of the Final Four. Uh, now, Glendale has become a world class sports destination thanks in great part to the University of Phoenix Stadium and the many partners it takes to host an event of this caliber. And as most of you know, because of the state-of-the-art facility directly behind me, we've hosted two Super Bowls, we've hosted a Pro Bowl, 11 Fiesta Bowls, our home team, the Arizona Cardinals, for each of their home games, and literally of hundreds of events since 2006. As such, our public safety agencies are the best of class. The people standing on this stage and the agencies they represent have proven time and time again that safety of the residents and visitors is always our top priority, especially when our community is on the national or world stage. And I cannot emphasize enough that it takes cooperation amongst all the agencies, amongst the cities to host these events. And in the spirit of that cooperation, I'd like to introduce our first speaker, um, Don Rogers, President and CEO of the Final Four Organizing Committee. Don? Well, thank you, Mayor Wires. Thank you so much for having us here today. We stood here in November of 2014, 
with the NCAA uh, bid committee in this very spot and took a fantastic picture. And it seems like just yesterday we started that partnership. And it is so exciting to know that in four days, um, right behind us, uh, Final Four Friday will get underway with fans coming out to see their four teams as well as the community. I want to thank Glendale for the partnership that we've had with them in the city of Phoenix. And I really want to uh, thank our um, police departments, our fire, FBI, really the regional approach. When we started this a year ago, full time, and we went to Houston with a fantastic group from Phoenix and Glendale, it became apparent how dedicated they would be to the safety, not only of the fans that are coming here to Arizona, but for our residents as well. And the planning over the past year, I've been so impressed with their commitment um, to the details of this event and to the safety of everyone involved. And it has certainly led me as a citizen of Arizona to even take a greater pride in what they do for our community each and every day. So thank you for coming out today uh, as we discuss the safety of this event and thank you again to the cities and the great partnership and regional approach that we have to this very important matter. Thank you. Very good. Okay, next I'd like to introduce my colleague, Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton, and then following Greg, uh, we're going to have uh, Mike DeLeon uh, up next. Mayor? Right. You? Thank you, Mayor Wires, very, very much for hosting this important event to talk about how safe these incredible events are going to be over the next week. Your leadership over the last uh, few years, I mean, between Phoenix and Glendale, working together as full partners, we hosted the best Super Bowl two years ago in the history of the Super Bowls. Last year, what an awesome college football championship occurred here in the city of Glendale with so many activities downtown in the city of Phoenix. Exactly the same successful model is, is what we're doing with the, with the activities this week. Uh, behind us in that building, you're going to see the very best of college basketball. My, my personal favorite sporting event on planet Earth the Final Four, and of course in downtown Phoenix you'll have the Fan Fest, the Music Festival, the Downtown Dribble, and many other wonderful uh, events. And it could only happen with partnership. Mayor, when this is all said and done, we gotta form a consulting firm and go around the country and tell them how to host big events because we are the best community in the entire United States of America for hosting events of the highest uh, magnitude. Now the events that I just described, the, the Final Four, the championship game, the music festival, fan fest, downtown dribble, all the other exciting events. That's front of house, if you will. Uh, but what doesn't get talked about a lot is where the real teamwork occurs. Public safety, making sure that we did have the most, uh, the safest Super Bowl in history and college football championship. And we're gonna have the safest events, big events for the college basketball Final Four. That only happens with a spirit of cooperation and partnership. And that's exactly what you get with the City of Phoenix and the City of Glendale with our public safety agencies, police and fire, working hand in hand with Sheriff Paul Penzone and the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department, working with Chief Milstead and the uh, DPS at the state level, of course, our federal partners. It's unbelievable. They can't talk a lot about it, a lot of details today for obvious reasons. But I can tell you, I am more impressed with that aspect of hosting these big, big events than anything else. And in the city of Phoenix, we are blessed with our dynamic trio of public safety leaders. Our police chief, Jerry Williams, who's right uh, behind me. Uh, our fire chief, Kara Cockbrenner, who I think is standing in the, uh, in the back. And our director of Homeland Security, Lisa Jones, I hope she is here. If not, she's preparing for this. She's actually been a referee at the final, the women's final four uh, previously, a world-class referee, and now she is the, our director of Homeland uh, Security. So I wanna thank every single one of those partners for your hard work, planning, and most importantly, cooperation, because that's what it takes to get it done, that have gone on to make the events of this upcoming week a reality. And I have a message for the public who may be tuning in, please, plan ahead, know the rules, and keep your eyes open. We don't want something like forgetting to use a clear plastic bag or some other a similar experience to put a damper on what's gonna be one of the most fun weekends of people's lives, a once in a lifetime experience for all of us. And of course, if you see something out of place, don't be afraid to let security or law enforcement know. You'll have more fun if you do. You can make the jobs of everybody in this room a lot easier if you see something 
say something. Mayor, working together, we're going to put on the best Final Four in history, and we can't wait. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, before you speak, uh, I want to let everybody know that this come on, come on up, put him. Uh, this happens to be the Yucca District, and our council member Joyce Clark, uh, representing the Yucca District, is here also in the back. Uh, so I want to make sure everybody understood that uh, uh, Yucca District and all the sporting events that happen here, uh, the council member Joyce Clark is here. So uh, with that, sir, if you'll go ahead, and Thank then you, uh, Mike, after you get done, we're going to have uh, Christine Figueroa up next. Thank you, Thank you Mayor. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael DeLeon. I'm the special agent in charge of the Phoenix's field division of the FBI, which is responsible for the state of Arizona. First and foremost, I am both privileged as well as honored to stand with my partners behind me at both federal, state, and local level. And it's been mentioned earlier, this has been going on for about six months in terms of preparatory planning and coordination, and uh, that will continue through this week. The FBI's role in this is simply one of support. We're providing manpower, intelligence reporting, analytic assessments, and of course, emergency response capabilities if called upon. Our Joint Terrorism Task Force, referred to as the JTTF, continues to work and has been working throughout the last six months. And we'll work through the next full week uh, in an effort to, uh, to make sure that these games as well as events are secure and safe. The JTTF is comprised of law enforcement professionals from throughout the state of Arizona, at the federal, state, as well as the local level, and they bring to the table an expertise and years of years of experience. They're, they're truly a, a blessing for us here in Arizona. Having said that, at this time the FBI has no current credible threats against any of the games or the events planned for this week. So we're going to encourage you to get out and make sure you see the games and attend the events. What we're going to ask you to do is remain vigilant. As the mayor was saying previously, if you see something, say something. What we mean by that, if there's something that's suspicious to you, report it to local law enforcement, report it to the FBI. Make sure your local authorities are aware of that. Uh, we want to congratulate all the teams. Uh, we wish them the best of luck. And on behalf of the FBI organization and all my partners here, please have a great week. Thank you. And then after, after Christine, uh, Chief St. John will be up next. And the reason I'm announcing this is just to try to speed it up a little bit. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mayor Wires, Mayor Stratton, thank you for having us here today and hosting the 2017 Men's Final Four events. On behalf of the Department of Homeland Security, I would like to thank you all for being here. I've been with the Department of Homeland Security since its inception and as the Arizona's Protective Security Advisor for the past eight years. Events such as this start at the local level and ends at the local level. What this means is that homeland security starts at hometown security. With that, with that said, I would like to let you know that I truly have the confidence that Glendale and Phoenix are fully prepared for this event. DHS has over the past several years provided Arizona with tools to handle large events such as this. As you heard before, we've had Super Bowls, college football playoffs, Fiesta Bowls, hundreds of thousands of visitors here in our great state, incident free. So how do we do this? With a four step process, connect, plan, train and report. So first connect, we have ensured connection through the close collaboration with law enforcement, fire and emergency management at the federal, state, local and tribal agencies and our private sector partners as well. Made up of trained professionals, these partners are passionate and focused in what they do individually and within their organizations. However, the visibility of the NCA requires a holistic, total team effort approach. No one individual or agency can do this alone. It is a whole community effort. Secondly, plan. The impressive array of trained professionals we have here today and also throughout Arizona to plan and prepare, prepare for this huge event should give you great confidence that this team effort will achieve our mission, which is to ensure the safety and security of the entire population. 
for any potential security threats. Extensive planning has been conducted to include DHS security and resilience assessments on venues and critical infrastructure and on-site support and planning efforts. Then thirdly, train. Security training and technical assistance to security professionals and key private sector stakeholders supporting the NCAA venues has been provided by DHS to include protective measures, active shooter, improvised explosive device training and procedures, vehicle-borne IED as well, bomb threat management, um, planning and procedures, and surveillance detection. These are just to name a few of the training that we provided. Lastly, report. Your theme, our theme, if you see something, say something. This is a whole community effort. The public plays an essential role in keeping our community safe. So now let's look at our goal. Put simply, an incident-free Final Four weekend events and games. But even more than that, our goal is to act as the behind the scenes protectors and keepers of the safety and well-being of our citizens and visitors to this great state of Arizona. I, for one, am very excited and very proud to highlight Arizona hosting the NCA Final Four. Thank you for reporting and sharing information with the Department of Homeland Security, FBI, your local law enforcement, and the Arizona Counterterrorism Information Center. Thank you, and remember, if you see something, say something. Okay, next, uh, Chief St. John, and then following him will be Chief Garrison. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, you've heard from our federal partners. I'm gonna keep my message pretty simple here today. Uh, normally, when you hear me talk in, in the public, you hear me talk about community policing and the need for the entire community to be involved in the public safety effort, but today I'm gonna send a different message. Today is about the community coming and enjoying an event out here at the University of Phoenix Stadium at the Westgate Footprint, and let public safety be our concern. Our goal in public safety for this event is that you would come, that you would enjoy everything that the event has to offer, and that safety would never even be a concern of yours. That you would come to the event, leave the event, never even recognizing all the hard work that went in to make sure it was a safe event, because as been stated, those things are occurring behind the scenes and you should rest assured that they are occurring. Uh, and so I just wanna invite everyone to come and be a part of what's going on here this coming weekend and around our entire Valley. We thank you for your patronage. We thank you for your uh, participation and enjoy the events. It's gonna be a great final four. And if you've got a bracket with North and South Carolina, Gonzaga and Oregon, give me a call because I'd like to see how this thing's gonna turn out a little bit early. I don't know that anybody in the nation's got that bracket, but if you do, I'd be interested in knowing you because you, you got uh, some skills when it comes to figuring things out. So with that, I'm gonna thank Mayor again for letting me come up and speak. Public safety is our concern, not yours, so come enjoy the event. Thank you. Okay, and then after Chief uh, will be uh, uh, Police Chief Jerry Williams. As the Glendale Fire Chief, I represent the 290 men and women of the uh, Glendale Fire Department on a daily basis. Only today, I represent the entire valley. We come together as a fire service in the valley like no other department or no other uh, region in the entire country. We have an automatic aid system that is second to none, where we have Phoenix, every other department in the valley, basically 28 different fire departments that come together and operate as an automatic aid system, which means that when you call the fire department, you get the closest unit responding to your emergency. This is extremely important for every day, but it's also more important uh, when we have these major events. So we come together, I work with Chief Cockburner and every other fire chief in the valley, and we are excited to host this event today. We would ask that uh, we also share a common motto, and a common motto that we have is with our members is to be safe and be nice. Today what I'd like to tell you is if you're visiting our valley, you're moving, moving throughout the valley, uh, going to a game, going to one of the events, is we ask that you be safe. We'll be nice if you need us. If you need to call us, we're gonna respond, we're gonna work with our regional partners, and we're gonna be there for you. So I think the police chief said it best when he said, enjoy the game, 
Let us focus on public safety, and we appreciate you being in the Valley. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. It was great weather, and we're glad you're here. Thank you. How are you? So Jerry Williams, police chief from Phoenix. I, I'm here to say have fun. Um, we, we talked about public safety, we talked about the regional efforts. Final Four and March Madness is a time to have a great time and it's a great opportunity to get to see everything that our Valley has to offer. Everything from the Music Fest to the Fan Fest to the game here in Glendale. Uh, we would encourage the public though to really look into public transportation, the transit system, the buses, you name it. We're encouraging that. but. Biggest thing possible, have a good time and have fun. So public safety will be out in Phoenix. It'll be the Phoenix Police Department. You may not see us, but we're there. Um, if you do see us though, stop us, ask questions. We're there to be ambassadors for you. And we're so excited at this opportunity that's presenting itself in this region for us. So I will say to the fans out there, have fun. If you see something, say something. We're here to help. Thank you, Mayor. All right, Chief Williams, thank you. Uh, next up after Chief Williams is uh, going to be Colonel uh, Milstead. I do want to thank all of our chiefs, uh, especially uh, they'll be working hand in glove uh, on this event. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, two things uh, that have not been covered. First off, the Arizona Counterterrorism Information Center uh, will be staffed during this event. Uh, if you do see something and you need to say something, it's 877-2-SAVE-AZ, 877-2-SAVE-AZ, or 877-272-8329. That is the Arizona Watch Center. It will be staffed by Arizona State Troopers and Phoenix PD during the entire event. Uh, the troopers are out there uh, making your roadway safe as you come and go. Uh, we will be showing uh, our motto, which is courteous vigilance. We are here to make sure that you arrive uh, safely and that you get out safely. Uh, know that any uniformed officer, their presence is there for your protection, but also uh, as an ambassador to the city of Glendale and really the Valley of the Sun. Thank you for your participation and thank my, violent, my uh, law enforcement partners for everything that they do. Thank you, John. Thank you. Okay, and then uh, uh, following Colonel Milstead will be um, Sheriff Penzo. I think quite a bit's been covered. I'll just uh, start by stating that Arizona does many things exceptionally well, but I can stand here with confidence and tell you that we set the standard in two particular areas. That's in law enforcement and in hosting events on a national scale. My partners behind me and the many others behind the scenes work day and night to ensure that the experience here will be an incredible one. And as the chief from Glendale stated, you're here to have fun, we're here to do a job. Our job is to keep you safe, and much like officials in a game, if we're detracting you from the experience, you're not having a good time. We're here to ensure that you have a good time and that you remain safe in your time here in the Valley. We do want to call on you to recognize that it is our job to keep you safe, but it's your opportunity to help us in that effort. So welcome to Arizona, Maricopa County, City of Glendale and Phoenix. Enjoy the Final Four. Thank you for all that you do, and let's make sure this experience reflects the greatness of Arizona as many others have before this event. Thank you. Okay, well thank uh, you to all the speakers and the agencies that have come here today. We appreciate all of your efforts in making the NCAA Final Four among the top fan experiences in the world. Uh, we're going to open things up to the media uh, uh, for questions, uh, and we do have many agencies here who can fill those questions for you. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I do want to remind everybody, and I'm not advertising for Coca-Cola here, but. Uh, very important because we see it every year uh, at every major event people show up uh, they're not carrying a clear bag uh, a lot of the folks that carry things so make sure you have a clear bag something similar to this uh, but uh, uh, that will save a lot of aggravation for you of somebody having to go back to the car and, and put uh, put your backpack or purse in there uh, with that uh, we're going to open it up for questions uh, if uh, you'll speak loudly so we can hear you i uh, will repeat the question and we'll have that appropriate person come up and answer your question yes wants to fill that question. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Milstead, if you would repeat Somehow the question. I got the short straw on this one. Uh, the uh, question was, uh, do we do anything to secure the locker rooms uh, for theft? Uh, so uh, the stadium management group uh, employs Arizona State Troopers to provide internal security for the stadium along with coalition uh, departments as well. 
So there will be uh, adequate security uh, in the locker rooms uh, to ensure the, the safety of equipment and all the people there as uh, well as be, again, uh, an emissary for people inside looking for directions. Remember, if you see a state trooper, it's courteous vigilance. That's the motto. Right. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Sure. So the questions about uh, changes in our security measures based on this coming event. Uh, this event, unlike some other events, major events that we've hosted in the past, is going to span four days. So we'll have two games on Saturday and a game on Monday. Uh, with that, this entire footprint will lock down uh, at, at some point before the games on Saturday, probably early Friday, and we'll keep it in a lockdown mode through the final game on Monday evening. And uh, when I say lockdown, I mean things that are coming in and out, uh, even vendors that are coming in and out of the footprint will be screened. We'll make sure that everybody is safe in, the, in how they're approaching and the directions that they're coming uh, and allowing for traffic control to maintain uh, the roadways that they need to maintain so that the people coming and going can still get in and out of the venue as well. Um, security wise, uh, we'll have security here throughout the entire venue. Uh, different uh, levels of security depending on the events that are going on and that's really no change I mean that's the way we run mega events here in Glendale and in the Valley uh, you staff it appropriately according to the number of people that are coming and you adjust your staffing as, as things need to be adjusted and that's what we'll do sure um, when when the Super Bowl came here the question was there anything we learned from the Super Bowl experience um, well, I, I learned a lot from the Super Bowl experience. I, w I was involved in both Super Bowls, the one in 2008 and the one just a couple of years ago. And the way we managed the Super Bowl, the way we staffed the Super Bowl uh, for the NFL experience, which occurs the week prior to the Super Bowl all the way up to Super Bowl game day, uh, very similar to the way we're staffing the NCAA. Uh, lessons learned, uh, you, you never have enough people. You never have too many people, I should say, uh, working and considering security. Uh, so we staff properly according to the needs of the event and the number of people that are coming and that's the biggest lesson is make sure you have enough staffing to accommodate the needs of everybody that are coming here. Thank you. So special events that are coming in Phoenix that will draw thousands of people, what are we doing about it? Uh, we're making sure that we're properly staffed so we have maximum deployment. Um, but at the same time, too, working with our regional partners, we really have great connection points and great communication. So that's why we're encouraging people to really take public transportation because getting in and out of downtown Phoenix is going to be a challenge. So we're really asking people to hydrate. We're asking people to get there early, plan ahead, take public transportation. Thank you. Thank you. With, uh, with that said, uh, one other thing, even in Phoenix, any, any event that's uh, happening over this Final Four, that clear bag that I showed you earlier, that's going to be required at all the events. So it's not just here at University of Phoenix Stadium, it's at all the events. Wait, on, uh, on, on the Sunday night of the uh, Final Four weekend, obviously there won't be games going on here in Glendale. That will be Aerosmith night in downtown Phoenix. That's going to be an overwhelmingly popular event, Hans Park in downtown Phoenix. It will inevitably fill up to the point that not every fan that wants to get in will be able to get in. In addition, that is the Diamondbacks home opener on the same uh, night. And the Phoenix Symphony also has a big show as well. The music of the Rolling Stones with the Phoenix Symphony. It's probably going to be the busiest night in the history of downtown Phoenix. So when our chief admonishes people, um, try light rail, try a bus for the first time, it's because it's going to be packed, uh, which is a great thing for all of us, a great thing, the opportunity for the fans. Uh, we want people to have the most pleasant experience uh, possible. In addition to providing security at the event itself for the uh, Aerosmith show in downtown uh, uh, Phoenix, um, Streets Department is going to have one heck of a, a difficult time as well because there will be many fans who will show up wanting to see that great show and will not be able to because it is a free show. So my advice is show up early if you want to get in to see it and also uh, use public transportation. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, advice, we appreciate it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take a couple more, yes.
So the question was, uh, are parts of the stadium going to be shut down? And the answer is yes. For security reasons, we shut down parts of the stadium. Uh, for people that are coming, uh, on your tickets you have parking information. There's parking information posted at our website, glendalaz.com. And then you can follow us uh, on game days at our Twitter feed, which is at GlendaleAZPD. Uh, so we'll provide up-to-date information about how you can get in and out of the venue, uh, any road closures, anything that's going on. Uh, we'll provide that information timely. All right, one more question. Mayor, can I also add, yeah. um, the, the band's best chance to come out to the stadium is on Friday for uh, Final Four Friday. It is free and open to the public at 11 a.m. The four teams will start practicing, and then the Reese's All-Star Game will be at 3.30. Parking is free, entrance into the stadium is free, it is clear bag, so please, um, fans need to have a clear bag. But that's the best opportunity to come out and have a free opportunity to go in the stadium and see the signage. At that time, all the construction around the stadium will be done. There's also a fantastic app that the NCAA has that you can download on your phone that'll give you all the schedules surrounding Final Four Friday, the concerts at Hans Park, uh, Fan Fest, autograph sessions in Fan Fest, the dribble, and every event that we've talked about. But the best opportunity for fans to come out to the stadium first is on Final Four Friday starting at 11 a.m. Okay, any final questions? Okay, with that, we're excited to kick things off this week here in Glendale with the Reese's Final Four uh, here in Glendale. Again, as Don just said, uh, this Friday, March 31st at the University of Phoenix Stadium. Again, Friday, the general public can come and watch for free. I love that word, free. Uh, four teams uh, will have their final four practice, followed by the NCAA All-Star Game. So uh, if, if you want to take in an event that's going to be fun, doesn't cost anything, need opportunity to come out Friday. I want to thank everyone for coming. I want you to have a safe week. And, and remember this, you've heard it multiple times today. If you see something that doesn't look right, say something about it. Thank you so much for everyone coming out. I uh, am certain that we're all going to have a great time, and we're real blessed to have this weather here. So with that, thank all of you. Thank you.